That's right. Here are some sobering statistics. Last year, more than 21,000 K through 12 students in Ohio were listed as homeless, according to the State Department of Education. And that number jumped by 2% in Ohio from the previous school year, but not in Franklin County. In the Columbus area, the number of homeless students jumped by nearly 20%. At 11 a.m. on a Friday when most kids are in school. I didn't want to send her to school. We did not have a shower, not have a place to live. In. Jeanette Grimmett and her 11 year old daughter, Caitlin, meet me at this Westerville Park. The mom, daughter, and two year old Chihuahua She's very protective of me. have been living out of hotels and their car since last October. I wasn't fit to take care of her if I don't, if I'm bouncing from hotels. Jeanette called yeah. problem solvers needing she help. She She's on a wait list with Columbus Metropolitan Housing Authority for a Section 8 voucher to help her with rent. She's on disability and only brings in $1,200 a month. Did you ever think that you would be in the situation no, you're in? Never, never. I've had a job since I was 16. Jeanette tells me she's kept Caitlin from going to school for two months straight this year. I didn't want her to be bullied in Westerville schools. They're going to want to know why she's like that. That's a rich neighborhood. Westerville City Schools couldn't talk about Caitlin's case, but indicates the district has 82 students listed as homeless. WCS provides these students with transportation, free meals, counseling, and they waive any school fees, in addition to offering more specialized supports for individual needs. And I, I cry every night because I don't know who is the best really going to be giving her away. Now in another school. I'm in sixth grade. Jeanette still fears the courts will remove Caitlin if she cannot find permanent housing by the end of the month. You don't like all these hotels? across town. Has it been a struggle yes. to take them to school yes. every day? Yeah, some days you don't want to go to school. Georgina Clarity just picked up her kids from school only to take them back to their hotel room that night. She's yeah. been homeless since November and had been waiting for an emergency housing inspection from CMHA to get into a new place. Georgina currently holds one of the authority's 13,000 housing vouchers that provides federal rental assistance. You even said your son's teacher gave you some money for said, the hotel. Yes, for the for a whole week. Georgina tells me finding housing and taking her kids to and from school has kept her from finding a job. Hi there. Right now Hi. she brings in thirteen hundred a month. Franklin County Children's Services also provided her one thousand dollars to help with first month's rent. When my son said he wanted to be home for Christmas. That's what made me call y'all. So we contacted CMHA after this interview on January 6th to ask about the pending inspection and why Georgina and her boys remain homeless. You don't even have an inspection date yet. I still don't even have an inspection date. The authority emailed me back to say the inspection got done four days later on January 10th. I don't like looking like this. I don't like my kids looking like this. I want to be in a home. I did confirm with Georgina that she is in her new place tonight. I also made calls on Jeanette Grimmett's behalf. CMHA confirmed she is on a wait list for a voucher. Jeanette was told wait times can take one to two years. I also called the community shelter board, but Jeanette tells me the shelter won't allow pets. As for Franklin County Children's Services, the agency has helped 225 families last year with rent, utilities, and caregiver reimbursements totaling nearly $1 million. On your side, I'm problem solver Lisa Rontala.